We put we we plus we play in less than uh, 28 hours or 20. Yeah, we play in less than 28 hours. We get a chance to go back out there and get back on the court. Uh, that's where you know we want to be. So uh, yeah, you know we learn from the mistakes we made, and uh, we got to get better, and we will be. The mistakes, the mistakes more. You know, you look at the things you can clean up, the things that you can control a lot better. Um, yeah, we we played really good, but I mean, we didn't have a great shooting percentage. I mean, imagine if we, they made what five more threes, they shot twelve more shots than us. Um, you know, we made more free throws than them, but you know, the overall, they got too many more attempts than us. They got tw twelve more shots to the rim. Um, they're, they. Turnovers were, uh, I think they scored like 21 points off our turnovers. Um, they only had five turnovers. So we got to look at the things that we did wrong and change it and fix them. Just miscommunication. Um, a couple of them transitioned. Um, I think Jr. hit a one in transition. He got a pull up in transition. And Kyle Corbett got a wide open one in transition. Um, some of the things, those things can't happen. You know, uh, you know, Brian only shot one for eight from three, but the one he made was a big shot. And then, you know, Pascal went under it. Yeah, I mean, tough shot. You know, made it, made a good shot. But um, the, the the open threes that Kyle got and, and Jr. got is the threes that we got to kind of take away. You know. I think we overhelped a lot, but it's also the miscommunication. That's where I think a lot of that comes in you know, and in the play. So we communicate a little bit better. I think things could be a lot different. I don't know. I mean, a guy like that, you know, you're happy when he, he does that. He still had a triple double when they won the game. So if that's a poor game. If I'm him, I know he's happy with that. You know, triple double they won, poor game or not. I know he's happy with that. But for us, you know, we gotta continue to stick with what we what we're doing and, and, and continue to believe in the game plan that we were put in. And that's what we're gonna do. I think that's the one thing with this team we've always, you know, found ways to just always believe in what we believe in and go with it. Um, I think we're just more just like, okay, you know, we, we know we did wrong. Um, you know, last couple of years, I think we played the first two on their floor and um, it was blowouts probably, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't remember, but, huh? Yeah, I know. I was trying to make it a little bit better. <laughs> trying to make myself feel a little bit, but, uh, you know, that's in the past. And I think this year, you know, we're just different. We're equipped differently. Um, I think we're, um, we're just an overall different team. Shots you guys got and missed, and some of the mistakes you made, and you can probably you can answer mistakes you found a lot. How uncharacteristic of the team was that? For you? I think in the fourth quarter we bogged down a little bit too much, and we did it the Wizards series also. You know when they went to switching on the pick and rolls. Um, so now you know we we should have been more prepared for it, but we kind of got bogged down um, in that kind of you know they're switching and this and that, but not you know we got some good shots, but we had some bad turnovers. And you know you can. It's a, it's, a, it's a fine line between you know things that can happen in this league. In this league. And you know, I think we had a chance to make some shots. We you know, Freddie got two unbelievably open looks, which we would. Demar is gonna make that pass every time. Everybody in the, in the organization is gonna ride with those shots because we all believe they're gonna go in. JV had a tip and he missed. I mean, we had chances. We we gave ourselves opportunity. Um, even though we shouldn't have been in that situation, we should have you know kept building and building and building. Is it galling almost because, like, you at, at the end, you guys ran the plays that you probably that the closer reset and everything you guys tried to accomplish? That's the right way to play, right? To get those done. We played the right way. Uh, we, we played our game. We played our. We executed the plays down the stretch. Uh, we got to roll with it. You know, this is the things about this league. It's a make or miss league. At the end of the day, it's a make or miss league. Of course you make adjustments. Of course you make adjustments. I won't tell you those adjustments, but we make them for sure. Kyle, you take us through that play late in the game. You had a play call, and you didn't like the 
Um, that play, I called a timeout on. I, I mean, I felt like I, I should have did what I did in the possession after on that possession. Just held the ball and not take, just take the turnover. But I felt like, you know, we, we're a pretty good executing team when it comes to, well, I felt like we could have executed the inbounds a little bit better with two seconds left. We got a, a plethora of plays that we can go to. Um, so I should have done what I did in the second possession, the first possession, and just held on to it and, and, and just took the dead ball turnover. Um, then out of the timeout, we got to do a better job of executing. We have to do a better job of executing out of timeouts. Those are big possessions. I mean, 2.2 on the clock is a lot of time for a catch and shoot, a dribble. It's a lot of time, so we got to execute that a lot better. You mentioned the Fred, sh Fred shot. Mm -hmm. Here's a Ben Harris talking about something. You know, part of the beauty of them is what you make them, you're the hero, and then you make them. Yeah. You know, it's great. Is he one of those guys you just don't worry about his recovery from those? Don't worry about it. We're, he knows we got his back no matter what. So that's the thing about the beauty of our team and our place. Don't worry about it. You, these are shots we see you take every day. You miss them. It happens. I've had games where I've missed a lot of threes. <laughs> I've missed a lot of open shots. I mean, if you look at the game, we miss free throws. We miss open shots. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's part of the game. So I'm sure he'll give it, if given the opportunity again, he won't miss them. How much did your game change, Kyle, when they put LeBron on you, especially in the fourth quarter? It shouldn't have changed that much. It didn't change as much as uh, – but I feel like I should have been more aggressive. To be honest with you, I feel like I should have been a little bit more aggressive, ran them off some screens, attacked a little bit more. Uh, but, you know, we still got a lot of stuff done. So got a lot of good things down in, in, in the fourth quarter. Uh, but for me personally, I should have been more aggressive. What do you think of OG's job on LeBron? OG did a great job. I mean, he followed the game plan. Um, he kept him in front, you know, took some tough shots. LeBron's going to score. LeBron's going to, he's going to score. He's going to make plays. Uh, but, you know, you just got to live with some of the tough things that he does. And uh, OG did a great job. I'm sure he's ready for the, ta the, the challenge tomorrow at 6. That sequence at the end of the game, last seven seconds, about where Pippen and Nicholas go step for the step three. Just to get the ball. Was that part of the highlight package today? Nah. Nah. No, I mean, was it just wasn't part of it. I mean, it's not a highlight session. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how, how, how unbelievable. I mean, I've seen it before in the NBA. It's not like it's the first time it's happened. We had a chance. The ball just didn't bounce our way this time. The cookie didn't crumble the right way. I mean, seriously, it just didn't happen. It just, you know, this, ooh, that, and this, that, and then it happens. Uh, I think we're going. We're going to be ready to go. We're ready to go. Based on that call, too, like I mean, what you were with from the game one over the Clippers, you guys mm -hmm. you carried that going into game two in Philly, but you still didn't want to see it going to Portland all year. You know, to be right on that brink of going to Cleveland down one two, you don't get that one. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, for us, it's. Uh, it's a really, really important game, a really big game for us as a team. But we stay, our, we keep with our confidence that we've had all year. We have that confidence. At the end of the day, we have a confidence to go out there and, and win anywhere, and especially on our home floor. So I think that's what we take into the game. You know, we learn from the mistakes, we learn from the things that you know we did. You know, I'm sure they're happy with they didn't play their best game, but they still won. I'm sure they're happy and they're going to come out differently. And but we're going to come out and be the better. You know, be us, be a better us.